We're joined now by his father, Pastor Raphael who's been on the campaign for quite some time. Pastor, it's great to see you this morning. It's great to see you, Thank Tucker. you so much. God bless you. So this is shaking out a little differently than we thought. Donald Trump is leading among evangelicals. How did that happen, at least in well, the polls? Well, I don't really believe those polls. Okay. We have over 350 pastors that have endorsed Ted Cruz in South yes. Carolina. That is an army. We're calling it the Gideon Army. And uh, actually, many of those pastors are mobilizing their congregations. I, I think that polls are just not reflecting that tremendous support among evangelicals that we have. Well, we saw that in Iowa, for sure. That's right. What role is God playing in this campaign, do you think? Well, you know, we have seen, uh, Tucker, over the last 50 years, an erosion of our moral values. And I think that the church has been the moral compass of America for many years. But we have seen a secularization of America over the last 50 years, and we have taken a toll in uh, our morals, uh, in, you know, a lot of chaos that has occurred in our society. And, you know, if, if the foundations that made this country the greatest country on the face of the earth are eroded, we're going to be in trouble. Do you think God takes sides in political races? Shows no, I, I, I don't think... God takes sides, but God takes sides in righteousness. God wants to see people uphold the principles of the Word of God, the principles of the Constitution, which are actually the same. You know, honesty, integrity, hard work, individual responsibility, the rule of law. Yes. And, uh, you know, those are Judeo-Christian principles, and they're also the principles that are the bedrock of America. Finally and quickly, is it, is it hard to see your son come under attack? Well, actually, being under attack means you're making a difference. If he wasn't making a difference, nobody would be attacking him. So we take that right? We take part of that as part of the process, and that, that we are making an impact. And I believe we're going to see a victory in, in South Carolina to get If evangelicals coalesce around Ted Cruz, Ted Cruz will be the next president of the United States. I can see why States. your son is so articulate growing up with you. It's great to see you. Thank you, Pastor. Good to see you. God Thanks. bless you. Very much. Pleasure. Appreciate it.